In the uh, Indian tradition, it's usually called by two names. One is Brahma Muhurat, the hour of the descent of Brahman into the world. And it's also referred to as the Amrit Vela, the hour when the nectar is poured. So both of these are true. Now, what it has to do with the fractal is that time being circular has a particular moment within itself that is the most auspicious. And where we are now in cosmic time is near the omega point, which is the moment before dawn of the new age, the new cycle. And so within the circadian rhythm of the 24 hour day, in the same way that end of the night and the beginning of the day, it's called the sandhya, the transitional time, is the time when that power comes in. It's in the betweenness of night and day in which the power is maximus, maximal. In the same way that the betweenness between two breaths is the moment when that gap into stillness can be most easily reached. The kumbhaka is the portal on the level of pranayama, for example. And in the year, why is it that it's in the end of December that we celebrate many things, whether it's uh, Diwali or Christmas or Hanukkah or any of those festivals of light at the time of the greatest darkness, but when the light is now returning, right? So it's the returning of the light, but wanting to be there before that to usher in the light and to capture the light before it appears at its most subtle level, its, its greatest purity, so that one can be a transmitter of that light into the world and be a co-creator with Brahman, with God, and be so attuned that one remains in that luminous state for the whole day.